Hey guys, Missy from Graceful Little Honeybee here, and today I'm going to share with you how to meal plan to save money. Now, if you're not already meal planning, you really need to start because it will save you a ton of money at the grocery store, and it will also keep you out of those drive through lanes. So, when you sit down to do your meal plan, the first thing that you want to do is to make as many meals as you can from what you already have in your house. Uh, I try to make at least two to three meals per week from what's already in my house because if you've already paid for it, then you're not gonna buy more at the grocery store and that saves you a ton of money. So the, th the second thing that you wanna do is to get your circulars, your sales flyers for the stores that you go to and you'll pick a few items from there and you'll plan meals around that. So you wanna plan your meals around the sales. And the third thing that you wanna do um, is try to focus on using less meat and dairy because these are the biggest budget busters at the grocery store. They're the most expensive items probably that you're buying. So if you can plan one or two nights a week that you go meatless or that you can go without dairy or you can reduce the amount of meat or dairy that you're using, then you will definitely see savings. Um, and then another thing that you can do to save money while meal planning is to plan your meals around frugal foods. Um, and if you don't have a good idea of what a frugal food is, I have a list of 35 frugal foods to buy when you're broke, and I also have a list of healthy foods to buy um, on a budget, and I will leave a link to those in the description box below. But frugal foods um, that you can buy would be beans, dried beans, rice, um, chicken thighs, chicken legs, cabbage, um, seasonal fruit or vegetables, those are gonna be your cheaper ones. So in the summer, the berries will be cheaper. Um, corn will be cheap in the summer. Um, and then in the winter, things like oranges, citrus fruits will be cheap. And so be sure to check out my list for more ideas on what frugal foods are. And then the last, the last piece of advice that I have is just to keep your meals simple. I mean, you know, we have access to any ingredient basically that we want in the grocery store, but that doesn't mean that we have to buy them. You know, buying steak or lobster, that's a treat. You don't need to be buying that every week. So just keep it simple. Things like spaghetti, beans and rice, pasta, um, chicken, you know, it doesn't have to be exciting every night. So being able to cook simple foods um, and putting those into your meal plan will save you a ton of money. So hopefully you enjoyed these tips. Um, and if you did, I would love for you to click the like button, uh, leave a comment, subscribe. All right, guys, have a good day.